Hello sixth graders. So we're going to be continuing learning about box plots today. So I just have this picture right here and I just wanted to go over the parts of a box plot again just to make sure you're feeling more comfortable with doing this. So we have a minimum, that's the first dot, okay? And that's basically the lowest number in your group of data. We have a maximum, which is the last dot, the dot all the way to the right, and that's your greatest number in your group of data. Then we have the first quartile. And to find the first quartile, which is the start of your box, that's the median of your first half of data, okay? Your third quartile, or the end of your box, is the median of your second half of data. And then you have your true original median that's right in the middle of your box. So we're gonna do an example together and we're going to find the median, the first quartile, the third quartile, and then we're going to draw our own box plot. So right now I am on page 795 in your workbook, okay? So it's problem number two. And it says, Sabrina raised flowers in a competition with other flower growers. Sorry, this is crooked. There you go. She earned the following scores. 7, 10, 10, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 9. That's her data. So part A is what is the median? Okay. Well, in order to find the median, we have to order these numbers from least to greatest. So the lowest number is a six, so we'll do that right here. And I'm crossing these out so I don't repeat numbers. Then we have a seven, another seven, another seven, two eights, a nine, and then two tens. All right, so that is our data ordered from least to greatest. And to find the median, we're just gonna cross them out. So let me just double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Doesn't hurt to just double check. And we'll cross them out. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Okay. So our median is eight. Now we want to find the first quartile. So the first quartile is the median of our first half of data, the data that comes before the median, okay? So we can rewrite those if we want, six, six, seven, seven, we cross them out. Oh, sorry, this is a seven. Six, one, one, two, two, well, these two are in the middle. Well, the average of two sevens is just seven. So seven is the first quartile. The third quartile is the median of our second half of data right here. So I'm going to rewrite that out for me. So that will be eight, nine, 10, 10. And we find the median, one, one, two, two. We have two numbers that are in the middle. So we average them. Right in the middle of nine and 10 is nine and a half. So we found that our median is eight, our first quartile is seven, our third quartile is nine and a half. Now we wanna draw a box plot. In order to do that though, we also need to find the minimum and the maximum. So the minimum is six, that's the smallest number. The maximum is 10, that's the largest number. So now we're just going to draw a number line. And since our data just goes from six to 10, it's not very spread out. So we can just count on our number line by ones. So I'll start at the number five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do that, okay? So we put a dot right above where our minimum is, which is six, so it's right there. We put a dot right above where our maximum is, right here, okay? Our first quartile is where our box starts. So our box starts at seven. So I'm just gonna draw a line like that because it starts at seven. Third quartile is where our box ends. So our box ends at nine and a half. Right here between nine and 10, that's where our box ends. And our median, which is in the middle of our box, okay, is right here at eight. So we connect all three of those lines. 
So this is what our final box looks like. I'll outline it a little darker so you can see. Okay, that's our box. And then what we do, draw a line from the maximum to the box and the minimum to the box, okay? So now this is our box plot, okay? So what we wanna do, the last part, it says write two conclusions about the data shown in the box plot. So what can you tell from this box plot, okay? Well, you can see that she got more, like since this box is more towards the higher numbers, you can tell that Sabrina got more higher number scores than lower number scores, okay? Because this maximum is closer to the box, this line is shorter, so you can definitely tell that. And in reverse, you can tell that Sabrina got less lower number scores, okay? The lower number scores weren't as frequent as the higher number scores because this box is more focused to the higher numbers. It's leaning towards this way instead of going to the lower numbers. If this box was all the way to the lower numbers, like all the way down here instead, and there was a long line this way, you would know Sabrina got lower scores more than higher scores. Okay, but overall though, we don't know what the range of scores were. We don't know if it's like five and above for like five to 10 or zero to 10. But if it's zero to 10, I would say that all of her scores pretty much are good. All right, but we don't know exactly what the parameters of the scores are. Okay, so on the Google form that is attached to this Ed Puzzle, you are going to practice finding the median the first quartile, the third quartile of your data and determining where those are on a box plot. All right, good luck and have a wonderful day, sixth grade.